Robert Alden says there's not enough darkness in the entire world to put out the light of even one small candle. No wonder the imagery of light is so important to the Christian faith. People in biblical times knew far more about physical darkness than we. Light was a luxury for them. There were no street lamps. On a dark night, if you were traveling, the world was a scary place. Roads were treacherous and criminals uh, plied their trade in the dark. You were thankful as a traveler that cities were often built on hills. Jesus said a city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Many of the villages in Judea were built on the summits or sides of mountains and hills and could be seen from afar. From a great distance, one knew the location of the next village because of the light from that hilltop. Perhaps as he spoke these words to his disciples, Jesus pointed to such a city. He told his disciples that they were to be like those villages that had become a beacon for travelers. Jesus said, don't hide your light and rather, rather put it up on a stand where it can be seen and people will see the grace of God at work in your life and being channeled through your life to enlighten and to grace the lives of others. That's our call. Jesus said, you are the light of this dark world. This is Mark at Lewisburg First United Methodist Church, and this is some food for the soul.